Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video was going to be a clean with me and cook with me video. However, my husband called and wanted to go to dinner and so I didn't cook, we actually went out. And I just took you guys along with me for the night. I hope that you like this video. It's not a video that I've made before, but I had a lot of fun making it. And if you like this, please hit the thumbs up and comment below. If you're not subscribed already, I would love for you to join my family. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy. These are the ribs that we're gonna have for dinner tonight, or Paul is. They are fully cooked and just need to be heated through, which is why they're out like that. So for years before I was a makeup artist, I was actually a waitress. And my biggest pet peeve <laughs> when it comes to the refrigerator is when people put raw meat up on the top shelves. It drives me insane. If you could see my face right now, oh my gosh, it just drives me crazy. So I keep this blue container and this is all raw meat. And I actually have like a paper towel in the bottom and that helps to keep any spillage or anything. And this is completely closed at the bottom. It's just from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't have any holes like this. So if something were to leak, it's really easy to pull it out and clean the bottom of it. And I try to keep everything else that's in there in plastic bags so it doesn't leak. Um, but yeah, that's like my pet peeve. It just, oh, it, it makes me cringe because it can make your family so sick. If you have raw meat up on don't mind this lonely little Corona. Sorry, that, that's from camping. My, our lonely little Corona. There's two more over here, but he's all by himself. Um, yeah, so if you have raw meat up here and somehow it, it leaks and it drips down and then say you have like, um, say you have your Corona sitting right here or your milk or some sodas or something like that and that's underneath where the raw meat is, then when you go and open your soda and you drink it or whatever it is, you're gonna get that raw meat in your mouth and in your body and that's just bad. That's just all bad. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Other than that, I cleaned the fridge today, took everything out, wiped it all down, reorganized it. I prepped a bunch of zucchini. I have to say, where we live is really expensive, like hideously expensive. Um, I can't even explain it to you what we pay for a three bedroom townhouse that is under 1500 square feet. But the good part about that is that our landlord has an amazing organic garden and he lives down the street. So he brings me tons of vegetables all the time. So that was like three big zucchinis that I prepped up and I cleaned out the fridge. And then I still have to prep um, a cucumber that he gave us and two of the yellow squash, this yellow onion, and then he also gave us 
um, some green onions. So I need to prep those as well. But I don't know what I'm going to use these onions for yet. So I don't know. And then I also have some tomatoes in here that I was washing and some tomatoes in here that he gave us that we have to use for a salad tonight because they're starting to get a little bit soft. It's date night. So I'm trying to show you my outfit without having a good full length mirror. basement I know super romantic right no we were there because my husband is coaching soccer this year and he needed to pick up a bunch of equipment he also wanted to look for shoes and a few other things they are located right next door to where we were going to eat dinner and we went to Chevy's unfortunately my battery for my camera died and I wasn't able to charge it before we went to dinner so I didn't get any footage in there but hold tight and I have a funny story that I'm going to tell you guys <music> hey guys what's up so um I just wanted to come back on for a minute and tell you guys something funny that happened at dinner. My husband and I have been together for 18 years this year. Yeah, it'll be 19 years next year. So 18 years just this last May. And Mason isn't home. He's with his grandma spending the night over there for two nights. And so we went out to dinner. We laughed so hard, we started crying. We were just, I don't even know what it was about. Like three times it happened. We were laughing so hard. And we sat in the bar for happy hour um, just because that's how we are. Why not sit there and there nobody's in there. You don't have to wait. You can watch his sports, whatever. Um, but the bartender looked at us at one point and he was like, hey, you all are having too much fun in here. No more having fun. So I thought that that was just really funny and something that I thought I would share with you guys. Um, that even after 18 years, he makes me laugh so hard and I make him laugh and both of us were literally streaming with tears and taking our napkins and wiping tears off. It was so funny. And then the bartender gave us a free peach margarita. Uh, he said it was a mistake and somebody didn't want it. So that was awesome for free, just randomly. And I think it's probably because we were sitting there just having so much fun. And I definitely, don't think that we were looking like we had been together 18 years. People were probably thinking that we had just started dating even though I had my ring on. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, the number one thing that I think keeps my husband and I together after everything we've been through and all the trials and tribulations and trust me it was hard in the beginning he was in the Coast Guard and he told me he had signed the papers to go into the Coast Guard three weeks before we had met so he was already solid and in there um, which meant that two months after we started dating he left to go to boot camp um, and then he was stationed in Alaska like the beginning of our relationship was a really long distance relationship and that helped us I think also create our bond but I always tell people when they say like how have you and Paul been together so long and you're still <laughs> like you still like each other I guess <laughs> even though we don't every day um <laughs> that's another part of marriage you won't like your spouse every day and that's totally fine that's a hundred percent acceptable um if you do like them every day then maybe you don't spend enough time with them <laughs> but I think the main thing is just to make each other laugh we make each other laugh all the time he's so funny he has the driest 
like sense of humor that if you don't know him you probably wouldn't think that he's joking about a lot of things and even I sometimes I'm like are you joking are you not joking because he's just so dry and for me I love that I think he's so funny and we just make each other laugh so I think that that is the biggest part of keeping a relationship together through everything good bad ups downs kids no kids family um is just to try to laugh about things just try to make it easy going and laugh now we don't always laugh but we try to so that's it okay i'm gonna go take my bath and drink a glass of wine and painting and a little girl got hurt. Natalie was a little kid with a temper and this girl was sort of always bossing Natalie around. And one time Natalie happened to have scissors in her hand. That was the first job you could find. We moved in the middle of the night like criminals. <laughs> basically my whole glass of wine so I'm gonna sit in bed and listen to sharper objects and drink my glass of wine um, side note if you listened or read Gone Girl then definitely read or listen to sharper objects it is a really really good book I think I know the plot twist but I hope I don't know the plot twist <laughs> yeah so that's my recommendation okay anyway so I'm gonna go and lay down and relax and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.